The Ukrainian armed forces have destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region, Telegram channels reported on Friday. Part of the Glushkovsky district that includes Tyatkino, Popovo Lazachi, Volfino, and about 27 other settlements, is now cut off following the attack. According to reports, one of the bridge spans has been destroyed after a strike from Himars, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, provided to Ukraine as part of military aid to Ukraine. Ukrainian troops are reportedly planning to seize the Glushkovsky district of the Kursk region. The evacuation of civilians is possible only by water. Roman Alakin, advisor to the acting governor of the Kursk region, has confirmed reports about the destruction of the bridge. It should be noted that in the Glushkovsky district of the region, logistic supplies for Russian troops are transported through the only road passing through this bridge. The destruction of the bridge is believed to significantly worsen the logistics of Russian troops in this area. According to local residents, Ukrainian troops have also attacked a bridge in the village of Zvanoy. Meanwhile, according to some reports, 700 Russian soldiers have been encircled in the area. Russia is withdrawing some of its troops from Ukraine in response to the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The Wall Street Journal writes about this, citing sources among American officials. It is noted that these actions indicate that the Ukrainian armed forces raid into the Kursk region has provoked a forced regrouping of Russian forces. The publication's interlocutors noted that the U.S. is still trying to determine the significance of this step by Russia and did not specify how many troops Russia is transferring from the Ukrainian front to Kursk. His assessment confirms the statements of Ukrainian officials that the surprise operation in the Kursk region diverted Russian troops from Ukraine. Meanwhile, Politico Europe also reported, citing an official in Kiev, that a relatively small number of Russian troops had been withdrawn to respond to the incursion into the Kursk region. U.S. officials told the magazine that it was still unclear how many troops Russia was pulling out of Ukraine. Against the backdrop of the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region, the Russian Federation has begun to withdraw units from Ukraine. In addition, the demilitarization of Kaliningrad has begun, reported Lithuanian National Defense Minister Lorinas Kasyunas. The minister added that the next good sign from the partners would be permission to use long-range weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation. He emphasized that his country is lobbying for this among Western countries. Earlier, the representative of the Ukrainian operational group of troops, Tavria, Dmitro Lykova told that Russia withdrew a small part of the troops from the temporarily occupied regions of Zaporizhia and Kherson regions against the background of fighting in the Kursk region. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Oleksandr Sirsky reported to President Volodymyr Zelensky that 74 settlements in the Kursk region are now under Ukrainian control. As Suspiln writes, the advance of Ukrainian troops in the territory of the Kursk region of the Russian Federation is complicated by resistance in the direction of the regional center. According to sources among the military participating in the Kursk operation, the defense forces will dig in at some borders. To try to counter Ukrainian gains, Russian troops have, however, continued their offensive on Pokrovsk and elsewhere in Ukraine's Donetsk region, according to the general staff of the Ukrainian army, in one of the hottest spots on the war front where Russia is gaining ground. As Ukraine captured territory, Russian commanders initially played down the assault, insisting the military had things under control. But more than a week later, Ukraine now controls at least 1,000 square kilometers of Russian territory. Ukraine has created a military commandant's office in Sudza, Kursk Oblast. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Swarsky informed President Volodymyr Zelensky about this at a meeting of the headquarters. According to him, the search and destruction of the enemy in Sudza and three other populated areas in the Kursk region has been completed. A military commandant's office has been created in order to maintain law and order and to meet the primary needs of the population in the controlled territories. Its head, Major General Moskalov, has been appointed, Swarsky said. 
The commander-in-chief added that in certain areas the defense forces advanced from 500 m to 1.5 km into enemy territory. In total, since the beginning of the operation in the Kursk region, our troops have advanced 35 km through fighting. We have taken control of 1,150 square kilometers of territory, 82 populated areas. The situation is under control, he summed up. President Volodymyr Zelensky did not comment on the headquarters in detail, but only highlighted key topics, the front, weapons, prisoner exchange and legislative initiatives. He promised to provide details later. Ukraine has already launched a hotline for residents of the Kursk region who wish to evacuate.